Greetings, beloved brothers and sisters. The story of the great fall, the belief that it was possible to be separate from God is reenacted many, many, many times in small little vignettes. To convince oneself that it's possible to not be part of God, to not be of God, takes quite a bit of effort. And it requires the illusion of the world to pull it off. But living in the world, these little vignettes play out again and again and again. Partly to show you that through the freedom that you have, through free will, you can listen to the voice of God or you can listen to the voice of the ego and find out what happens when you do. This one often thinks back to a time when he was first starting out as a psychologist and he was in the public school system doing intelligence tests on little children in elementary school. And he got along very nicely with his staff members and teachers at the school. And he loved this job because he was independent and he had five schools and he could go to whatever one he wanted to and test the children and move on. And he wasn't encumbered by a lot of bureaucracy and staff meetings. Anyway, after a few years, there was something about the teachers union and not liking their arrangement with the government of Washington, DC. And there was talk of a possible strike. And he was only marginally connected to this union. I think they took something out of his paycheck every month, but he never knew really what it was for. Anyway, they sent this woman down to meet with all of the staff members and teachers. And he sat in on this meeting and this woman started yelling about what the government of DC was doing to deny them their pay raise and to oppress them, and to victimize them. And the more she spoke, the more upset everyone got and more outraged everyone became. And finally, it was decided that a strike would happen. And this strike went on for 60 days with no pay. And during the strike, there were some teachers who decided that they weren't going to honor the picket lines and they were gonna drive in. Well, this one decided he was going to be with the strikers. And these people that he previously felt very close to were driving in and going to work as if nothing happened. They were not going to honor the strike. And he found himself with a mob of people at the front of the school, attacking them, banging his fists on their hood of their car, calling them scabs, being absolutely swept up in the emotions and the outrage and the righteous indignation. How dare you? Anyway, it was all settled. The strike did whatever it did. But the relationships were torn from that. It was hard to be connected again with people that you had attacked. And the people who had attacked you, you felt and things cooled and eventually moved to another school. 
They never forgot that, how easy it was to forget who he was, who they were, what their interests were really, and to take sides and to feel like a victim and to feel righteously indignant. And the separation was so palpable and so painful that he was never comfortable in that school after that. Lines were drawn and people were barely civil after that. He can't even remember whether they got their pay raise or they didn't, but it all seemed meaningless. It was like an excursion into hell. And the lesson in all that is that you have this attention and you have this value and you have your freedom. And you might want to watch where you point that thing. Because you have to choose the truth. You have to value love. You have to value that more than your ego, more than being right, more than being a victim, more than justified rage. You'd have to value love to return to love. It's not going to be done to you or for you. It's your choice. And when you do it, when you do choose love, all the separation disappears. And whether the person is open or not, you know that you're connected. You know that you love them and you love them yourself. And there's nothing wrong, and there never has been. And you always have that choice. He now values love so much more than separation. He sees the temptation to separate, to attack, to feel guilty, and to attack some more. But the value of love is so much stronger. It's the answer to everything. It is sacred. It is who you are. It is love itself. I bless you and I love you every moment of the day. It's your freedom. And it's a wonderful thing to choose love. I'll speak with you again soon.